Hi everyone, just letting you know I'm now live. Um, can't quite see yet until my computer picks up on the notification. And we'll go live with this. So. Alrighty. Hi, Brado. How are you going? All right. So we've got the the mouse working for me. Put the glasses back on. All right. So a bit of a play. Um, you can see that I have the bag already starting now. Just grabbing this pack I opened up before. So what you get in here is you get the back, the two insides, you get a couple of pockets as well. Oops, it is. A couple of pockets. Um, you also get this is another pocket thing that you can use. It also comes with, you can just see it there in the bag. Sorry, machine. It comes with the, the elastics and everything. It comes with everything to do it, with the pins, the whole lot. Um, how's the new Jack going? I have missed your bids of like, yes, me too, I've missed doing them. Um, Jack is going very well. I don't get to do as much as I would like, but um, we're going to do it today. So, um, hello, Wilhelmina, uh, or, or Ina, 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 um, Gidget, Colleen. All right, so I've got it all set up and I've started doing the free motion stitching on here already. I'm going to make it very funky looking like I, you know, I tend to do just a bit of free love and moonbeam stuff. Um, and um, let's put my needle down. There we go. Just get that bit of fluff off. Hi, Debbie. So I've got my shoes on too, so I can't really feel the foot very well. I'm just going to move up my little scissors. These are, I was thinking before, these are another product that I absolutely love and use all the time is uh, the little mini um, duck bills. Love, love, love them. They're uh, another good essential one to have in your stash as well as, you know, the, the little cheap four or five dollar ones. So, um, Obviously, this is just not stressing at all about going through all these layers. This is obviously um, felt, it's 100% wool felt. Uh, did I just um, break the thread? Yep, I did. Um, so it's just going through that really, really easily. I probably need a new needle. I haven't done that for a while. I'm just going to thread that again. As soon as I go live, I break thread instantaneously. Don't know why, it just happens every time. Um, a bit late getting carried away with flying keys. Um, well, I mean, are these, are, these are the gloves. These are Marcia Beraldi's, and I sell these. I'm the only, as far as I know, distributor in Australia so far. Um, they are brilliant gloves. Um, love, love, love them, and essential with my free motion quilting because uh, it just means that I'm not using my fingers so much and it's less stress on my wrists and hands. Great for people with arthritic hands and wrists. So at the same time, I keep catching something up there. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go try to go past it. Um, I can't remember what I was just about to say then. Oh, well you might uh, had to drop partner off to work yesterday and he laughed as I still had my gloves on while driving but was seeing when he needed to go. <laughs> uh, that's all right. I do that sort of stuff. So at the moment my thread is actually, or my machine is actually, because it uh, fills a bobbin at the same time, that's the jacks do that. Um, which I love as well. It's another feature that I love with them. So if I know that I'm going to need a, a white or a cream or whatever colour, 
I just fill it as I go. You can do it without um, quite easily as well, without actually sewing, but just means that I'm doing two or three things at once. So I'm just doing a couple of lazy lines in the middle of those. Can't really see anything. It's black on black just about. Got to go around here about three times. And then I'm just going to zip off over here. So what I've done is I've used some, um, it's so quiet, yes it is. I've used, uh, what do they call it, um, Tilda fix or you know visor fix like fusible webbing to stick these down um, it's a lovely wool felt very nice wool felt um, easy to sew through on your, on your normal sewing machine as well I've done many demos on them and uh, you know when I did the, the class with Helen Godden I had this going and this machine honest to god was the quietest one in the room and it was the only industrial in the room so go figure hey so you can see it's just cutting through that nice and easy just doing a bit of um stitching around i want to go back over here so i'm just going to travel because i've got that dark color there i can sort of travel over and that little noise you heard was just the bobbin if you heard it finishing you can go three or four times around there's no right or wrong I like to make it sort of look messy so you get that real crafty, arty farty look. And on, yeah, like I say, I'm just literally making up as I go. Oops, the days went off. See? You can see I stopped and panicked. <laughs> Yes, um, Helen Godden was rather impressed with the, the jack. She had a go. She said it was very good. Absolutely worth its weight in gold. Like, it was easy to use and all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, she's an ambassador for um, the long arm or the Sweet 16. So, that's what she deals with, which is another, it's, it's a completely different type of machine again. Um, but this thing here. Um, this jack is just amaze balls. So I'm gonna just put some lazy lines. You can mark it out if you want to. You can, I mean, you can do hexes all over. Whatever you, whatever you suits you. You know your personality and what you want to be on yours. You know me well enough to know that if it looks messy, it looks good for me. Um, anyone who's been to my house will know. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not filthy or anything. It's just never clean, <laughs> never, never tidy. <laughs> That's what it is. And it's an old house, so <laughs> it looks old. Every time you go in, it's okay. Alright, so the leaf. I mean, you don't have to do them as leaves. And I literally did just do some random shapes and cut them out of some different types of bits and pieces that I had in my stash. So this is a good scrap, uh, scrap buster. You won't get rid of many scraps, but you'll get rid of some. Um, I think I, oh, did I miss any? No, I think I got them all. Um, I'll just go down here, just in case. Okay, the main thing that we want, what speed are you set at now? Uh, good question. Um, 9.50. I'm not sure if I've got it set. Um, there it is there. I'm not sure if I've got, oh, I've got my foot flat to the floor because I've got my foot, I've got shoes on so I can't feel. So that's just decorating the top. Now I need to unscrew this. I need to take that off and put on my normal foot. Uh, so I 
what's left with Ross. Mm -hmm. I've got about 6,000 things in this little drawer. Oh, I think it's this one. It's the one that came with it? No, that one. That one came with it, so it's got a little do down on the front to stop me just to get my fingers in the way. Because, you know, we do these things. Keep your feet away from the, um, the actual sewing thing, the sewing part. That's a whopper of a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, it comes with it. It's just massive. Manually, put my foot out and my foot off the, the actual lever. Just sit that in, in there. There we go. That's the base. No, I don't think that's the one I want. I think I want this one. I've no idea what it is. Let's just find out. Some of these feet, I've never seen them or used them before, so I don't know exactly what they do, so I'm still learning. There's a lot of room here, so it's not like a, a normal machine where you sort of go, oh my god, you know, I'm never going to get this, this done up, me being me. I'm trying to figure out my left and right. Alright, that's it there. The foot down. It's going to be interesting with this book because I like, literally don't know what it's going to do. Or what it does. If Jennifer was on here, she'd be able to tell me. Three left hands today. Come on, work here with me. You're alright if I was left handed. Um, there we go. Make sure you 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 screw up those feet really well. Like don't don't do um a half sort of backside screw. Don't know if that's the one I want. Hmm. Anyway, we'll soon find out. Um, I probably should have done that beforehand. Anyway, I'll, I'll see if I can do this without. Just gonna lift up. Okay. Well, that's not gonna do it. Just because I've got it already lifted. There we go. Come on. Yep. There we go. Let's see whether she likes doing this. Might not like it. I've got the free motion on. No, it's not going to. It's just going to miss it. Hang on. Let's change that over. Sorry, guys. Such a typical thing. How organised am I? Oh, I don't have to take the whole thing off this time, which is great. What's that one? I'll try that one. I think this was the one that came with it. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, looks more like it. Oops, I lost my spot, didn't I? Hang on. That's a bit happier. Yeah, that's a bit happier. Oh, ha! Huh. Got to 
actually put the feed dogs up when you do that. And hope for the best. Let's not smash anything today, Michelle. So this is foot operated with the putting the, the actual foot up. So like the, the pedal operated, I should say. So putting the, the pedal or my foot on the pedal, I'm lifting the actual foot up. So and then I'm doing a few stitches and then I'm lifting up that and turning. So if you need to do anything that's sort of stop and turn, you can um, without having to do free motion. Let's get that out of me. majorly quiet isn't it it's very quiet <laughs> definitely quiet and if I wasn't so slow I'd actually make this look really easy okay so it's just stitched off there just does a bit of a stitch front and back, trim off your little bits and pieces, go to the other side and we need to put this baby on, Oop, lift, okay, might actually start this side, You can actually have it set automatically where it stops and lifts, um, but I haven't yet got myself into that. I think it's this one. I think. I don't know. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Yeah, that's the one. And don't just stop. Make sure you go across that front and back. does a lock off stitch which I love just saying okay all right so those two are on all right so I've got that on and that on and that's what we need I missed a thread oh no I didn't okay so they're done so I can put that aside now and my next step is to sew these onto here so this is one if I turn this over Say this one here, would you know, you can put it there if you want to, or this side. I'm going to put it on this side, and then I can put the wider one on that side, covering the front sort of thing. So um, I'm going to just place these here. I've got thread everywhere. That one there, and just remembering, don't go all the way around, leave an opening, yeah? So you've got an opening. Um, this here, and... I'm just going to do and I'm just eyeballing <laughs> isn't that cool how cool is that and you, you watch this when I get to here hang on let me get up there and then I'm going to do that lock off thing Look, it just does it for me. Oh, I love this machine. It's so pretty. <laughs> so there's another pocket. And again, I'm going to start on this side. Just make sure it's straight. Um, I'm just going to loop it up a bit. So like I say, I'm still getting used to all this. So it's a little bit... Hi Michelle, I'm back from seeing the helicopter land and reload in our front panel. Yeah, how cool. How cool are you? Look at this baby go. Turn. Go right to the end. Lock off stitch. 
Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mother, for the rabbits. Lift. I want my thing back. Um, and it's cut it all off at the back too, pretty much. There's not much there on the back as well. So that's those on. And then I'm going to sew these. Now, these are like an elastic that you can put in, you know, like a, a bit of... Um, um, like a um, like a booklet or something like that. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's see that. Let's grab the thread. I'm going to do that one there. I might move it up a little bit higher. I might use my yeah. So I've got this thing at the front here that I can use. I might pop that at around about the two inch mark from the top and from the bottom. So. Two inches there, and we want two inches there, and just make sure that you've got it starting at two inches, keep it straight. Just the clips will do, you don't need to, you know, baste it or anything like that. Um, I can see I'm probably going to need to just snip that, but I will. Um, work that out in a minute. So just moving that, picking up my foot and needle down, back and forward, go back and forward and cut off. Hi Judy! Nice and then we're going to go this side. So I'm just going to lift that up. Is. So I'm just going to trim that off. Not much to trim, it does most of it for me. Then we're going to do this one. Have that there. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> just stitch backwards and forwards a couple of times. Lock off stitch. Now the other side, there we go. and I'm just going to push that up a bit, there we go. So that's a forward and back noise you can hear, that's the little thing clicking away. Hope you're having a good day Judy. When it makes those noises, I know she's working. <laughs> All right, so I've got those two things done there. Pop them aside, get this again. Um, you'll get this already made up in your kit for you. So I'm going to sew that down the middle. Fold that in half, find your middle section. I am gonna put a pin just in there, just so I can find it. And that side. There, like that. Not today. So we've got it just there, like that. I'm just going to turn that off so it stops doing that. Then you're going to place that there. I'm just going to trim up those little, little threads there. Just clean it up a little before I do it. Okay. So we've already got zippers and that in them, so just place it. I'm eyeballing. And I'm going to actually, because I can't put pins, um, clips there, it's too far away. So I'm just going to put a pin there and there, away from the top for now. And put my thing back on. Place it there. There we go. Needle in down position, go forward and back. It's a small enough foot that you can't see, you can't um, stitch, you can stitch past, sorry, that, that um, thing. So this is going to give you your spine, go down to the end, turn, uh, finally a bit better than the last few, oh, that's good, good, because um, nothing worse than feeling like crud. And uh, I'm going to take that out now. Up the 
top, turn, just going to cut off. So now that is on and that is now in there like that. Okay, I'm going to take those few threads off there. Not that you'll see them, but just wipe them off. Now, so, hang on. Oh my gosh, that way, turn it that way. Yep. So, yeah, we're going that way. That one can go this side. And what I'm going to do, place it right there. Couple of clips. Probably end up snipping that just to make it fit because it doesn't look like it's quite the same size. Oh, that'll be just um, a quick, easy fix with my little jack scissors. And I'm going to put that one upside down the other way. And that one here. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to pin this side, making sure I've got it right side facing up. That way, yep. And you can see there's a thread. No, it's not joined. It's all good. Now, just remember you got that there, so go past it. If you go and sew over it, I mean you can, but you might cop that little bit there. Mine might go past it. I might just clip either side of it. Just reminds me that it's there too. Okay, and that should be all right. So that's going to go in there. Get to the corner. Turn. Oh, did I run out of bobbin? All right. Needle up, darling. Thank you. I knew I was close. Beauty of having a pre wound bobbin up the top there with this. And we'll just place that one in. Make sure we go, go the right way this time. And because it's got this here, I can sort of see, so I'm not guessing. That's in. Close. Make sure that all sewed. Oh, yep, yeah, so it didn't quite sew all the way there. Um, because I ran out of bobbin, because it's black on black, I couldn't see it. So let's just go back and quickly fix that up. Looks better when you got bobbin thread in. Just letting you know that. Okay. Now we're sewn in. Just make sure they're both sewn in. All good. Come over here. This will be up to me whether I can keep it straight or not. Put that little doodah in there. I might just sort of shove it under. Nice, yes, gently. Gently, Bentley! give you another pocket just so you know and off the days run away and then down
that is on there, all on. Okay, so you can use that to put things behind. That's the front, um, uh, the other side, and I've got pockets. Okay, I can close that over, and I can zip that down, and I'm ready to go. So I can decorate the other side if I wanted to as well. I could absolutely take all that off, un un uh, like unpick just this, and decorate this side as well. So it's just that easy to do not difficult at all and it's all done in like no time at all and the other thing is if you have a look at this you've got like seam sort of finishing here if you want to go right across you can uh, if you don't want to do the cut off thing you don't have to me i'm i'm a quick and easy girl so if um if it's not quick and easy it's not happening and um yeah just trim off your threads but i can see it just needs a little bit of um trimming on the edges which i'll do Hi, if you move the mesh pocket out of the way, you could sew right across it and it'd look like a decorative top suit. Yes, Catherine, yes. So I was just going to say that. So you could actually go, so I think what Catherine's saying is you can pop that down, um, kneel down, and just go all the way across. And off. And I'll do it the other side. And if you're sitting on your domestic machine, you could easily make that a decorative stitch over the top of it. Okay, it's not something that's not possible. You can very well do that quite easily. Um, so now it's a decorative stitch. So uh, quite easy, very simple. And now I have a book cover and it took me no time at all to decorate, as you saw. And uh, like I say, I can undo that if I want to and have it decorative on the other side, whatever I like. It doesn't make any difference um, in the end it's mine um, and there it is all done so yeah you can you can do whatever you like with it but that is this fellow here and it is a whole $39 which is absolutely bargain considering it's beautiful uh, wool felt you can felt it too so yeah so that's that's sort of how that works if I was going to undo this I would use the quick ripper because that would drive me now. Does the felt paint okay? Um, it it'll have it's furry, so no, not really. No, you would have to cover it and then paint. I think, Rado, to be honest with you, I really do. I think you would have to paint then cover, uh, cover then paint. Yeah, but it would give you um, a really great um, what do I call it um, stabilizer in the minute in the middle if you wanted to use it as a stabilizer instead and you've got yourself a nice pattern but um, it's a great little little one and uh, very easy to do a good one to sit with the kids and do because it's not rocket science um, there is absolutely there's no instructions in the in the pack I did notice that which was I was a little bit surprised about because they normally do but in having a good look at it I sort of went oh well I don't think I need instructions how to put this together so um, <clears throat> quite easy to do so you I was actually going to put, you know, Michelle across here, so it's mine, or my, my book, better off, and that's your back, you know, so that's that's why that's left blank, okay, so that, that was my theory, so if I wanted to, I could throw it into a, um, an embroidery machine, or I could just, like you say, I could actually glue, or whatever, um, numbers, uh, letters, letters on there, and then stitch down, whatever you like, you know, it's, um, it's up to you. So yeah, it's a cool little pack, isn't it? So this is the Aster and Anne book cover project bag. Um, prefer it as a book book cover um, than I do anything else, but because I think it is a bag, um, you, you'd probably need handles and stuff that would annoy me. So um, I suppose you could put handles on it if you really wanted to, but um, I think that's plenty big enough. So yeah, so that's that's how you do it. That's how you put it together. Nice and simple. Okay, thanks for joining me again. Appreciate your time. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little demo. It was a nice quick one, only half an hour. Um, and uh, it goes to show you how quick and easy you can uh, just stitch on some different shapes of fabric. And uh, Yvonne, can you message me your, um, text me your uh, mobile? Thanks, love. 
and uh, yeah, and then we can you can decorate it however you like. Okay, so that's that is Astrid and the book cover. Thanks again. See you guys. Bye.